guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Barbie and I am Barbette Fit on Instagram if that's how you found me. If not, if you're just a YouTube subscriber, awesome! Thank you so much. It is my passion to share the healthy lifestyle of fitness and healthy eating with the masses. So thank God for YouTube and Instagram and I am able to do that. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you want more videos like this, please comment below. Um, this is a real time workout that I'm doing. So I'm gonna do the whole entire thing so you can do it along with me from home, from your backyard, from your gym, but this is a no equipment needed hit workout. So high intensity interval training. And we're just gonna do five moves, get a little sweat going, and then call it a day. Let me know how you like it. Okay guys, so here we go, starting the warm up. 10 seconds of jumping jacks. Then we've got 15 seconds of body weight squats, so no jumping, just sitting the booty back, pressing through the heels, squeezing the glutes at the top of the movement. Then we switch into 15 seconds of high knees. So really try not to lean back on this one, almost try to lean slightly forward so you're engaging your core instead of your lower back muscles. Nice and light on the toes. And then we're gonna repeat that. So we go back into the 10 seconds of jumping jacks. Nice and light on the toes. Think about your core, pulling the belly button to the spine. Then we go into our squats, body weight squats. I'm really not getting as low here. Um, this is not the best example because your booty, full range of motion, your booty should be to your knees or below, your hips below your knees. Now we're into our 15 seconds of high knees. Good work guys. We're gonna do that one last time just to be sure that we get the blood pumping and the muscles warm before we go into our main workout. And that is Hudson there behind me, running around. <laughs> so if you've noticed during this video, I my head's kind of on a swivel and I'm looking around, maybe even a couple points I yell for him. Uh, yeah, that's because I didn't have a leash, so I was worried. <laughs> but he's such a good boy. Okay, last move for our warm up. Finishing out the high knees, nice and light on the toes, thinking about the core, pulling in the belly button to the spine, and we rest. And I forgot my water, so make sure you have water nearby, especially for a, an interval workout like this. Okay, here we go, 10 seconds. Ready? First move starts in a plank position. Everything is gonna be 30 seconds, guys. My timer starts now. So just a nice solid high plank position where you're jumping your toes into the tabletop position. So about a foot or maybe, you know, eight to 10 inches in, and then really hitting that solid flat back tabletop position. So your butt shouldn't be too high that the knees should be hovering over the ground about an inch or two really using those lower abdominal muscles. Good work, rest, breathe. Next move, squat jumps, 180 degree squat jumps. So we're flipping around. I think I kind of mixed it up here. I did two in a row each way, so I would go one to the right, but you're only jumping, you're stopping at 180 degrees. So turning completely around, and I did two and two, and then change directions. Again, nice and light on your toes here. Nice, soft landing. Good work, guys. All right, rest. Third move, coming right up. We're gonna go back to the mat. Starting in a plank position, we're going to a runner's lunge. That just means one foot's up nice and high, flat on the ground, so really important to get that heel down if you can. And then four straight leg lifts, so squeezing the glute muscles at the top. So we got one, two, three, four, 
and then we're gonna step the leg back, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Nice job, guys. So most of your weight should be in your upper body, should be pressing through each fingertip. Good, rest. You earned it. Nice job, guys. All right, fourth move. Bound, reverse bear crawl. So you're just gonna hop forward the length of your mat and then bear crawl backwards. And it's very similar to that tabletop position we talked about earlier. Nice flat back, knees hovering over the mat an inch or two, trying not to rock through the hips too much. Picturing a wine glass on your back. You don't wanna spill that wine glass. Nice job, guys. Nice soft landing in the bound and walk it back. Good, rest. Nice work. We've got one more move in our circuit and then we get a little bit longer of a rest. We're gonna rest for 30 seconds in between each set. Move five, single leg skater burpee. So this is a tough one. If this is too advanced for you, go to both feet. Just jump to one foot and then do the burpee with both feet. Um, it really feels like your leg weighs a lot when you do a single leg burpee. So take it slow, really going for balance here in the skater. So trying not to put that other foot down. And as we all know, burpees really get your heart rate up. So that's why it's our last move. And we'll rest after this. Good work guys, 30 seconds rest. You earned it. Breathe. It may not look like much, but my heart rate was in the 140s and 150s the whole time. So we're increasing the heart rate and recovering. We're increasing the heart rate and recovering. So that is what interval training is all about. Okay, we're getting ready to go back to the top. This is our second set. And our first move starts in a plank position. We're gonna go plank to tabletop hop. Good work, guys. Second time through, so your body knows what to do. Now, just focusing on form. Form should be down pat, and the third round will focus more on speed. So here we go. Nice and light on the toes. Again, I sound like a broken record, but really important not to be slamming or stomping around, protecting the joints. Good work, guys. Rest. 10 second rest. Then we go to our second move, 180 degree squat hops. Jump and flip. Jump and flip. Good, getting the butt back. Using the arms, um, I learned something cool at a convention one time that if you don't use your arms, your legs are only about 60% of the movement. Your arms help you with about 40%, so you wouldn't be able to go as far or be as powerful if you didn't use those arms. So because the upper body and lower body is connected, through the core, you're thinking about engaging the abdominal muscles and using the arms for power. Good work, guys. Rest. All right, move three. In our second set is the runner's lunge, four runner's lunge hops, two, four straight leg glute lifts. So if you can't do the hops, or if your wrists are hurting, if you're having trouble getting the legs off the ground, just step it. So just step it forward, step it with those four runner's lunges, and then go back to the plank and do the glute squeeze. There's always a way to modify, no excuses. You always should be pushing yourself out, a little bit out of your comfort zone because that's how we grow and that's how we get better, stronger, faster. Good job, guys. Rest! His rest seems so short, but this is the goal. All right, four, bound reverse bear crawl. So you're just jumping as far as you can. My legs are pretty much dead at this point. I did do a little bit of a workout earlier that day when I recorded this, and probably a bad idea because by this point my legs were shaking. But that's okay, I'm glad I did it. I was nice and sweaty after this, and I got some sun. It was the first, one of the first sunny days here. Good work, guys. Rest. All right, on to our fifth move for the second set. This is the single leg skater for bees.
So going for distance with that skater lunge, nice light landing, soft landing, and then it's almost like a single leg squat going down to the ground before your arms hit the ground. Jump, light landing, squat, plant the hands. Good job, guys. Whew. Using the breath, deep inhale, deep exhale. This is a tiresome one. And rest, good work, guys. So about a 30 second rest, and then we go back and do it one more time. We're so close, almost there. You're killing it if you're still here hanging out with me <laughs> and Hudson. You're crushing it. So we've got one more round to go. Make sure you're hydrating. And here we go. So the final round, that first move starts with the plank. Tabletop hop. Good work, guys. Now we're really focusing on being efficient. So your body knows what to do. We've got the form down. We've got the pattern down. Now really focus on the muscles that you're working. So focusing on those triceps and shoulders that you have a nice, solid, stable base, and then being super, super light in the lower abdominals and the legs. Nice and light and airy hopping in. No big deal, right? Rest, good job guys. All right, move two, we're almost there. 180 degree squat hops, ready, set, go. And there's Hudson again. <laughs> I think next time I go record one of these workouts outside, uh, I'll have to bring a leash. It was a little stressful looking after him and trying to do my workout. <laughs> Good work, guys. You're so close. You're almost there. Keep hopping and rest. Good work. Okay, third move. Bound reverse bear crawl. Bound reverse bear crawl. Nice and light. I was trying not to jump on top of my phone, but it looks like I'm really only jumping half of the way up that mat. <laughs> My legs were jello at this point. I don't know if you guys are feeling it too, but you can always take the jumping out if you have to modify. Maybe this last round's really got to you. Just do like a squat walk. Squat walk all the way up to the top of your mat and then step down into the reverse bear crawl. There's always a way to modify. Rest, good work guys. Move four, two more moves, and then you are done your 15 minute interval workout. Good work. Runner's lunges plus four glute lifts. So four nice light hops in the runner's lunge and then four straight leg glute squeezes. Beautiful. Feeling strong, feeling nice and light. Using those abdominal muscles. This is a total body move right here. We're hitting the legs, we're hitting the core, we're hitting the shoulders and the triceps. Yes, feeling all those muscles come alive. And we rest. Good job, guys. We've got one last move. What is it? Shout it out. Single leg burpee. Skater burpees. All right, that's a mouthful. Here we go. Last 30 seconds. Really push, really focus, and really go for speed. Your body knows what to do. So on this last round, you can go all out and give it your all. Leave all that energy out there. You get the reward of rest after this. <laughs> and hopefully some good food and hydration. Nice job, guys. You're Hudson! so close. Get over here. Last couple of reps. Hang in there and rest. Awesome job, guys. Fabulous, fabulous job. Thank you so much for hanging in there with me. Wow. Get over here. Hey. Okay. As I'm catching my breath, I'll try to talk to you. I hope you all like that workout. That's definitely not a beginner workout, so I need to put a disclaimer in the bottom. This is a pretty advanced, intermediate to advanced, body weight, hit, high intensity interval training workout. 
So not for the weak of heart. If you hung in there, awesome job. Keep going. All you need is a few minutes of body movement a day. Get your sweat going. Move your muscles. It doesn't need to be super intense. It doesn't need to be super long. It doesn't even need to be in a gym. So if you like this workout, please hit the thumbs up and let me know if you'd like these similar workouts in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later guys. Bye.